I actually have written on why I'm a feminist, and um, it's a story. Um, first of all, you know, I, I mean, I, I think it's really important to, um, to claim to be a feminist, even if I'm not a hundred percent with every program, because in feminist community I have racism, but I'd rather be a feminist than not. But um, I decided to become a feminist. I, well, I was captured, first of all, by the ideas that now, um, you know, it wasn't man against man, man against nature, man against, you know, it was relationship or even women, but you know. Don't you think it's human against human? Human against human. Yeah, that's and it's not even against anymore. The feminist movement taught me it's relationship, human in relation to other humans. So, um, yeah, but I really, my click moment came uh, when I was growing up. There was a young girl who was like me, happy and so forth. And uh, her mom married a guy who was a vice principal. And then the girl changed. She got drawn. And then she disappeared. And uh, then she went to New York. And then I saw her in New York and I said, what happened? Because when we asked about her, our parents, don't ask about her, not good. She said she got pregnant, she had a baby, right? For the guy who was upstanding in our community. And um, it really shocked me that I didn't know and that my parents and the whole community hit it. And I say, we don't have the luxury of not knowing about little girls' lives. We need to take that responsibility as much as we can. We can't do everything, but just to make that commitment. <coughs> and that's when I made that commitment, that I will stand up for little girls and I will stand up against oppression of women anywhere in the world. So it's a very deliberate and political act on my part.